What's up everybody? Coach G coming back at you from Heat Boot Camp. Good to be back with you, Fit Fam. Uh, we are missing you guys dearly, but thank you so much for tuning in with us. We feel like, I know it's virtual, but we feel still feel like a big tight community being able to do this with you guys every week. So, thanks again. I'm going to take you guys through a full body conditioning boot camp today. We're going to go through a three minute warm up, a little bit of a yoga progression just to get loose, get those joints nice and loose, get the blood flowing, get the muscles warm. Once we get through that three minutes, I'm going to explain the workout to you. Again, full body conditioning. We're hitting every major muscle group in the body. You are going to feel this one. You do not need any weights for the first, probably first 20 to 25 minutes of this workout. I'm going to give you a little break and then we're going to grab some weights, moderate dumbbells if you have them or anything that bears a little bit of resistance. So I'm going to be using some 15s today. Um, just kind of keep it on the conservative side. You can use whatever you want. Keep it moderate. And you will not need those until the end of the workout today. So we're going to get nice and warm, full body conditioning camp. I'm going to take you guys again through a three minute warm up, a little bit of a yoga progression. Turn on my profile here. What we're going to do is we're going to start with some walkouts. So I want you guys to get your legs spread nice and wide. Okay, we're going to open up those hips a little bit. We're going to start by bringing our hands all the way above us. All right, get those fingertips to touch, your index fingers at the top. You're going to reach down between your feet, okay? We're going to start to walk it all the way out. I'm trying to keep your legs straight so you're really stretching those hamstrings out. From your walkout, you're going to be in your high plank position. We're going to take it into our up dog. So your chest is going to lead the way. You're going to bring it up into your up dog. We're going to open up those hip flexors, that iliopsoas area there. And then from there, we're going to start with a hurdle stretch. So I'm going to have you guys in that high plank. You're going to bring the right foot up. Lift that back leg straight now. Open up so you keep your knee in line with your hip. Watch your fingertips go above you. Stack those hips. Switch it up. You'll do a hurdle stretch on each side. Notice my knee stays in line with my hip. Okay, my knee is in line with my hip. I'm opening up, getting a big stretch in that medial glute. And also my hip flexors, my iliopsoas and my quad on my right side. From there, I'll take it into a down dog. So I'm going to bring my head back through my arms. All right, I'm going to stretch out. I'm going to pedal my feet out two times on each side. And then I'm going to slowly walk it all the way up. So we're going to repeat that for two more minutes. All right, so we big stretch at the top. You're reaching down. You're walking it all the way out. You go into your up dog, your chaturanga. That's not nice enough for my yogis out there. Shoulder blades come together. Back into your high plank. You get a hurdle stretch on each side. Okay, hurdle stretch each side. Knee stays in line with the hip. We come back into our high plank. We go into our down dog. Head through the arms. Big stretch, pedal out those feet. Get a couple per side and then slowly start to walk it all the way up and repeat, all right? So let's do this for about another minute and a half. You're not gonna get a ton of this, but it's a really good way to get everything warm, everything nice and warm, be ready for your workout. Now, because we're doing a large portion of this workout with just your body weight, you even have more time to get those muscles nice and warm before you add any resistance or any weight to it. We got our hurdle stretch, take it back into our down dog, come all the way up, big stretch at the top. We're gonna get two more guys. Walk it on down, flatten out, make sure your back is flat, the abs are nice and tight. You lead with your chest as you go into your up dog. My elbows stay in, I bring my shoulder blades together. I come back into my high plank, I get my right foot to come outside of my right hand. I get that big hurdle stretch there. I take my left knee up. I get my big hurdle stretch there. I come back into my high plank, take it into my down dog. My head goes between my arms. I pedal out my feet a couple times on each side, and then I walk it all the way back up. One more. The last one, we're taking it down, walking it all the way up. The mat, bring your elbows in, lead with that chest. Bring those shoulder blades together. Back into your high plank. You can do whatever side you want to do first. Just make sure you're stacking the shoulders, stack the hips. Keep your eye on your hand. Okay, I bring my left up. I fully rotate. Make sure everything's in line. We get that down dog and we pedal the feet out a couple times per side and we walk it all the way up. So not only have I got my muscles warm, but I've also increased my mobility through my hips, through my shoulders, through my hamstrings through my iliopsoas, my low back. Everything is nice and warm. 
Deep, nothing high impact, okay? Very, very low impact kind of yoga progression. And now we can start taking it up. So this workout today, I am going to do 100 jump squats, okay? You've got 100 of these guys, 100 of your jump squat. If you're not doing a jump squat, you can always just do a regular squat, take the jump out of it. You make it as hard or as easy or as modified as you want. Totally your workout. We're gonna do 80 push-ups, okay? You can do your push-ups from your knees, you can do it from your toes, whatever works best for you guys. We are gonna do 60, 60 double B-ups. A double B-up is this. We're gonna do one with a tuck, okay? One here with the knee tuck, and one straight leg. That is one, which is why it's called a double B-up. So I've got the knee tuck, and then the leg raise. That's one, knee tuck to leg raise. We're gonna do 60 of those, okay? I'm gonna explain the format once I get through the exercises. You've got your lunge switches. We're gonna do 40. Notice we're getting, uh, kind of splitting everything in half, all right? So on your lunge switch, we're here. That's one. Each side is one rep, okay? We're gonna do 10 per side on that one. Or I'm sorry, we're gonna do 20 per side on that one for a total of 40 each, okay? Then you're moving down to 20. You've got Superman burpees in a Superman burpee. We are gonna go all the way to our belly. We're gonna fully extend our arms. We're gonna bring those shoulder blades back together. Hands come right under your underarm. Come up, butt low. Nice little burpee, all right? You're gonna do 20 of those. And then the last thing you'll do is you are gonna do 10 one-leg deadlift to front to back lunge. So a one-leg deadlift would be Balancing on one side, fingertips to the floor, making sure I keep my back nice and flat. Okay, eyes stay forward, I come all the way up, I go front lunge to back lunge, okay? I'm doing 10 per side on those. Now, because those reps at the top, the 100, the 80, the 60, the 40, super high reps, I'm gonna break it into four rounds. So instead of doing 100 push-ups at a time, because that's ridiculous, although you can if you want to, I do not advise that, all right? I'm breaking that into four rounds of 25 reps, okay? My 80 jump squats, I'm gonna break that into four rounds of 20 reps. My 60, 60 double B-ups, I'll break that into four rounds of 15 reps. My 20 Superman burpees, I'm gonna break that into four rounds of five reps. And then my 10 one-leg deadlift to front to back lunge, I will break that in because it is 10 per side. I'll do five on my first round on my right side, Left, uh, second round I'll do my left side, five on that, and then repeat. Third round right side, fourth round left side. So I'm breaking everything into force. Okay, cool. I advise you guys do the same thing. Feel free, if you wanna compete with me a little bit for time, go for it. I'm gonna take it nice and controlled and slow, but it is going to be a kick-ass workout, all right? Once we get going, we're gonna keep that, we're gonna keep it moving, that time's gonna continue. So compete with yourself, compete with me, see if you can beat Coach G, totally your call, all right? So let's go ahead and get started, guys. We're starting, I'm starting again, I'm breaking everything into fours. So my 100 push-ups, starting with 25, let's get going in three, two, and one. Let's go, Heat. And five. And 10, again, feel free to drop down to your knees if you need to. And 50. And 20, five more for me. One, two, three, inhale down, four, exhale up. And five, 25, only got 75 more to go, all right? Moving right along, you got your jump squats. We have 80 total jump squats. I'm only gonna do 20, all right? Break it up into fours. I wanna make sure we're getting our toes and our knees slightly pointed out. Push those knees out as you go down, push those hips back. Chest stays up, elbows stay in. I like to say I'm going into prayer position, keeps my chest back, elbows to knees, full attention. Three, take the jump out of it if you need to. Five, you don't have to jump real high either. Seven, we gotta conserve that energy, you guys. Hey, you got a lot of rounds here. Ten to go. Three more. Eight, inhale down, exhale up, nine, and 10. Excellent. So, we got 25 push-ups in, we got 20 jump squats in. I got three more rounds of my push-ups, three more rounds of my jump squats. I'm now going into my double V-ups. 
These are tough. Feel free. Use your hands. Put those hands under your hips, okay? You're getting one tuck, one full leg extension. That's one. You have 15, two. We're going to do a total of 60. Three, but for right now, four. We're just going to do 15. Six. Inhale, exhale, seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, I've got five left. One, two, three, let those triceps help you out a little bit. Four, keep those hands on the floor. And five. Excellent, all right. Only 45 more of those to go. We're getting everything. We're gonna get legs, tries, chest, core, back, the whole nine. All right, lunge switches. We've got a total of 40. They are per side. So right and left is one rep. So I'm gonna do 10 per side on this first round. We'll have 30 more to go after this. Lunge switch, if you could switch in the air, get the hop, awesome. You're gonna get that heart rate up a little higher, burn a little more fat. However, you need to just step back, take the impact out of it. That is okay too, all right? So your choice here. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, good work. I know you're looking good over there. Seven, come on. Eight, last two, heart rate's gonna get way up on this. Nine, one more, and 10. 10 per side, only 30 more to go with those guys. Superman burpees, laying down on our belly. We're extending our arms all the way out. So full extension of the arms, shoulder blades together. Hands under, bring that booty down nice and low, and a little hop. I'm doing a total of 20. I'm only gonna do five now, that was one. Let's get four more. Down, all the way. Superman or Superwoman, out. Butt down low, little hop, that's two. We got three more, guys. Three, last two. And four, and you have one more. Stay with me here. Full extension, elbows out, feet come down to the floor, butt low, and five. Starting to break a little bit of a sweat, at least I am. You should be too soon. Final drill of that first round. Again, I've got 10 per side, we're doing 10 total on each side of your one leg deadlift to front to back lunge. Out of all the exercises, this one's by far the most complex. What you want to do is make sure that knee, toe, and hip all stay pointed forward in one line. Your hips are square. Your back is not sitting flat. Fingertips to the floor. Let that right knee bend. Okay? I come up. I let my left leg go forward in the lunge. I go back. That is one. So I'm starting to balance on my right side. Next round, I'll do my left. Third round, back to right. Fourth round, left, all right? We're breaking this into fours. Here we go, that was one. Back flat, head stays up, eyes stay forward. One forward, one back, that is two. Bend that right knee. Let it bend, get that glute involved here. Forward to back, that's three. Let's get two more. Hard on the balance if you need. If you need to use your left leg for as a kickstand, you can always just put your toe on the floor Use it as a kickstand. Make sure you bend that right knee, get it even with the hip. Come up, and then a little bit easier to balance. All right, that's five. I'll do five on my left side on that next round because I want to stay even and make sure I'm doing four rounds of everything. First round done. You need a little bit of a water break. Go for it. If you don't need one now, that's okay. You will soon. All right, here we go. Second round, 25 push-ups. We're gonna knock this round out. We'll, we'll be halfway in, all right? We'll have 50 done. Let's get going. In three, two, and one. Here we go. Ten. Fifty. 25 to go, guys. Let's get it. One, inhale down. Exhale up. Two, three, four, and five. And I always say on the push-up, 
Try to make sure you lead with your chest. Keep those hips up. Keep those abs tight. Elbows back like you have that boxer on around you. Elbows pointing to the back corners. Feel free to make go down on your knees if you need to. Just get that, at least that 90 degree angle there. Okay? All right. We're 50 push-ups in. Moving on to our jump squats. We still have 60 left. Let's finish this 20. We'll only have 40 left. All right? Let's go. In three, two, and one. Knees slightly out. Toes slightly out. Full extension of those hips. Two. Hands in prayer position. Three. As you go down. Four. Five. Jump as high. Six or as low as you want. Seven. Eight. Good. Inhale down. Exhale up. Nine. Ten. Good. Ten more. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. I've got five left. Six. Ninety degrees. Seven. Butt low. Eight. Last two. Nine. And ten. Boom. All right. So that's forty. Jump squats, I've got 40 left. I'll do another 20 on that third round. Moving on, double V ups. You get to lie on down or at least sit back. Again, we are doing 60 of these total. We already knocked out 15, let's get 15 more. We only have 30 left, guys. Here we go. Double V up. Knee tuck to leg raise or full V up. One, two. That's a little bit of a modified three. And then you get the full extension. You guys break five when you need to. Six. Some of you guys might be passing me up right now. And that is okay. You can brag about it. Eight. Online. Nine. Send us a message. Ten. Let us know you crushed me. Eleven. I'm okay with it. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Good. I might ask you to prove it. Maybe you can record yourself doing it. I might ask for some proof of that, but I'm secure, I can handle it. Awesome work, all right, we got our, now we got 30 more B ups to do. We are gonna move on, we got our lunch switches. Heart rate came down just a little bit on those V ups. We're taking it right back up. Remember, we've got 10 on each side. We've got 40 total, we already did a set of 10 on each side, let's knock out that set of 20. Here we go guys, 10 per side. Left, right is one, one. Jump or not, two, or just step back. Three, four, five, six, four to go. Seven, last three, eight, last two, nine, and one more, and 10. Your heart rate's not, not up yet, now it should be. Okay, awesome, 20. Lunge switches in, only got 20 more left. All right, halfway through, guys. You got your Superman burpees. We're just gonna do five more. All right, let's get it. Here we go. This is gonna knock out 10. We'll have 10 more. Elbows back, feet up, feet come to the floor. Little hop at the top. That's one, chest all the way to floor. Full extension, extend all the way back. And two, we got three more. Let those index fingers tap. Let those shoulder blades retract. Hands under your underarms. Hips up. And last two. Superman. Good. Two, your burpee. One more. And five. All I have left is 10 more, all right? We'll get another five on that third round. Moving on. Now, I'm balancing on my left leg. I'm back to my one leg deadlift to front to back lunge, okay? We're doing a total of 10 of these. I knocked out five on my front and 10 per side. I knocked out five on my right. I'm gonna go five on my left, here we go. Right leg extends, back flat, eyes forward. Right leg goes forward, right leg goes back. I'm back to balancing on my left side, that's one. One leg DL. To front, to back lunge, that is two. Here we go. DL, to front, to back lunge, that is three. Let's get two more. Inhale down, exhale up. Always wanna try to breathe out, release the tension. Four, on the hardest part, on the concentric part of that exercise where those muscles are working the hardest and they're contracting. Last one. Inhale down, my knee bends. Knee and hip in one line, chest up, front to back, knee stays in line with hip, 
five. So I'm five in on each side. I've got five more on each side to go. You are halfway in, guys, all right? Halfway in. If you're not breaking a big sweat now, by the end of this third round, you will, all right? Quick drink of water, okay? Check in with yourself. Make sure you stay hydrated. Okay, heart rate's gonna come down just slightly. We're moving into our third round. After we knock out this 20, these 25 push-ups, we'll be 75 push-ups in. Not bad, huh? Not bad for a 45 minute workout. Here we go. Three, two, one, third round, 25 push-ups. Ten. 15, 20, last five. One, two, three, two more, four, and five. We are 75 push-ups in. We have one more round of 25, guys. We're done with push-ups. Awesome work, all right. Let yourself come in. Should start feeling those tries. Chest, those shoulders have got a nice burn to them. So what I've tried to do here is alternate. Since we're getting a full body, you're gonna go upper, you're gonna go lower, you're gonna go core, and repeat. That way it gives you guys some a little bit of recovery time on each set of muscle groups. Okay, right into our 20 jump squats. Toes slightly out, hips are back, prayer position, full extension. One, we got 20 more here. Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good, fully extend, 10. Even if you're not doing a jump, just fully extend those hips. My last 10 left. I'm gonna take the jump out, 12, 13. I wanna save a little bit for that last set. 14, 15, last five. Six, notice knees and toes slightly out. Seven, hips go back, chest stays nice and proud. Eight, last two. Nine, inhale down. 10, perfect. 60 jump squats or squats in. One more round of 20. We'll have a round of 80 in. And you're done with jump squats, all right? Third round, double V-ups. We had a total of 60. We're gonna knock these out. We'll have 45 done. We'll just have one more round left. All right, here we go, guys. Double V-ups, hands just right next to your hips. You can put them closer if you want. I like to go, if, I, if I'm on a mat, I like to go just outside of that mat, get a little bit of tricep help. It just helps with balance in general, okay? But if you don't need your hands, don't use them, all right? Totally your choice here. So, one knee tuck, one leg raise. That's one, two. Make sure those shoulder blades go back as the legs extend. Seven. Back goes down. Nine. Legs extend. Four. Ten. Final five. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Excellent. So 45 in. We've got one more round of 15 of those. And we're done with those. Superman burpees. All we have is a total of 20. We've done 10. I'm doing five more now. I'll have 15. We'll only have five left on that last set. All right, here we go. Chest all the way to the floor. Fully extend the arms. Retract the shoulder blades. Feet stay up. Everything comes down together. Feet go out wide. I'm wide in that. Full extension. All right, here we go. That's one. Feet to floor. Butt low. And two. Big hop. Use your hops here. You only know five of them. Give it all you got. Three, the last two. And four, and you've got one more, guys. Feels good to almost be done with these. And five. All right, you'll have one more round of five. Superwoman, Superman burpees. Your gender, your choice, all right? Final round of those on that next set. Let's go in to our one leg deadlift. I'm back to balancing on my right side. One leg deadlift, front to back lunge. Now I'll complete our third set. We'll be down to that final set after this. All right, here we go. Balancing on my right, fingertips to floor, knee bends, left leg extends. I come up. If you need to use that foot to help you balance, that's okay. Otherwise, go right into it. One. Up, extend forward. 
Bend those knees, 90 degrees, two. Fingertips down, eyes focused straight ahead, guys. Keep that focal point. Three, last two. Leg extends, back's nice and flat. Core is engaged, core is nice and tight. Four, you've got one more. Knee bends, back flat. Eyes focused straight ahead. Five, last break, about 15 seconds. Take a quick sip of water. Don't get too much. It's that bottom line there, okay? Just a little bit of water. Hydrate those cells. Let that heart rate come down just a bit. And you are at your fourth and final round. Congratulations, all right? We still have our weight set up to this. But you're at your fourth and final round of body weight. 25 push-ups, here we go, last round. On your toes, on your knees, Totally your choice. Elbows pointing back, leading with the chest. Core nice and strong. Here we go, guys. Whew. And 10. Here we go. 15 left. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good. Stretch if you need to, you can go to a quick down dog. And let's get those last five. One, two, three, four, five. You have done 100 push ups. Excellent. Congrats, guys. Some people don't do 100 push ups in a week. You just finished it within a 45 minute workout. Awesome. You are now moving on. You got your 20 jump squats. Let's get it. Your choice whether to jump or not. Hands. You can do here, you can go here. Whatever you have to do to remind yourself to keep those shoulders back. All right, hips back, toes pointed slightly out. Final round of 20. Ten. Ten more. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Final five. Six, seven, eight, nine, done. Awesome. Jump squats are done. Moving in, double V ups. You get to lie on or sit on down. Let the heart rate come down. Final round of 15, and you are done with your double V ups. And you are more than halfway through that last set, all right? Here we go. Hands in at your sides. I like to make sure my, my fingertips are, are pointing straight ahead not out, not too far in. We don't want the elbows to flare. We want to keep them straight back. All right, here we go. Legs extend, knee tuck, leg raise. One. Count them out. That was five, six. Tuck, seven, extend. And your final five. That was 10, let's go. One. Inhale, exhale, two, three, the last two guys, four, five, done. I'm gonna stretch just a bit here. Awesome work, all right. Down to our last two, we got our, not our last two, our last three. Can't forget those lunge switches. Final set of 10 per side. You'll have 40 per side total after this. Really? This is the last one where that heart rate's gonna go way up. So I'm gonna give myself about another 10 seconds. I'm gonna get all 10 at one time. All you have left after this, five more Superman burpees, and then five more of your deadlift to front to back lunge, all right? Here we go. 10 lunge switches, step it back, jump at your choice. Let's go. One, two, everything's in line. Three, chest stays up. Four. Last five, six, seven, three left, eight, stay the course, come on, nine, final one, sweat flying, and 10, boom, one switch is done, way to bring it, heart rate's up, we're breathing, we got our Superman bow piece, all you have left five guys, little break, let your heart rate come down, if you're competing with me, and you're whooping me, good job, all right? I want to talk you guys through it. So, down to your chest. Let's get those Superman burpees. 
Almost there. Come on. Full extension. Elbows out. Hands to floor. Big jump. One. All the way down. Full extension of the arms. Retract those shoulder blades. Hips come up. Two. Last three. Let's go. You can use it all here. Three. You don't have to save anything. We're almost there. We'll get a decent little break before our weight. Four. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Awesome. Superman burpees are done. I'm going to give myself 10 seconds. Give yourself what you need. We've got our final round. Single leg deadlift to front to back lunge. You get to have about a one minute break as I explain our weight set. Okay, here we go. My left leg, I'm back to my left leg. Balancing on my left. My right leg will be doing the front to back lunge, all right? Eyes stay forward. Fingertips to the floor if you can get them there. Make sure you're bending that leg, bending that knee, okay? So if I'm balancing on my left, I want to make sure I'm not just leaning over. I'm letting my knee bend, my glutes doing the work to control the eccentric phase, the downward phase of my motion. And one, glute, hamstring, a lot of posterior chain, you even got some erector spinae involved there. All right, look at that. Balance ready, a little shaky. Eyes are focused straight ahead, come on. And two, good. Stay strong, keep that foot flat. Don't let those toes curl in. Extend that leg, front to back. That is three, I've got two left, I'm done here. Knee stays up, right leg extends, fingertips to floor, I'm balanced, I'm steady, I'm four, and I'm one for being done, let's do it. Balance is straight, eyes are focused, front to back, and boom, that is five. Flex on them, all right? Awesome work, guys. Take a one minute break while I get to explain. I don't really have that opportunity. I'm gonna explain the next set of drills, okay? This is where you need your dumbbells or anything bearing some resistance of equal balance. If you need to just use one, you know, I don't know what you have. Rice bags, milk cartons, handles of Tito's. I don't know what you have, but whatever you have that bears some resistance and is safe, you can use. I'm gonna choose dumbbells here, okay? So what we have is we have four exercises, all right? Kind of full body exercises. I'm gonna use a moderate pair of dumbbells for all of them. We've got front squats, so we're gonna front rack those dumbbells. We're going 10 to four. So for the first set, all four exercises, you'll have 10 reps. Second, set of, uh, second round, you'll have eight, 10 to four even. Third round, six, last round, four, okay? So we're going 10 to four even, 10, eight, six, four. Four drills, done. So we went from a more cardio, more core, full body set. Now we're gonna go to a little more of a strength set, lower reps, okay? Lower reps, a little heavier, obviously, using weight now, all right? Here we go. So, my first exercise, I'm gonna demo all four, okay? And then we'll get started. So, you don't have to start with me, just watch me here. Front rack, you can either front rack and press the weights together in front of your chest, the whole purpose of front racking, guys, whether you're using dumbbells, barbells, kettlebells, is to make sure your core is engaged and your alignment is in the best possible place, okay? A lot of times if we load on our back, it causes the rounding and the hinging. In this case, with a front squat, we don't want to hinge. So by keeping those weights up, my elbows pointed forward, it really makes me engage my core and it puts my alignment in the proper place. So my shoulders stay above my hips, my chest stays up. All right, that is your front squat. My knees are slightly pointed out. My hips are pushing back. My weight's in my heels. I'm at 90, vertical motion all the way up, okay? First round, we've got 10 of those. Your second drill is going to be your wide to mid row. So this one, I do want to hinge. I want my back to be as flat as I can get, and I'm going to go one wide row to one mid row, all right? One out, one in, all right? And I'll show you guys that from the profile. One wide and one narrow or mid row, all right? Two different parts of your back that you're working there, all right? So one out, one in, that's one rep. We'll do 10 each way on that first round, eight each way the second, six on the third, and four on that last round. Your lunge curls. I'm gonna step back. We're going lunge to curl. 10 total, five per side. Lunge to curl, all right? We'll do a total of 10 on that first round, 
Total of eight on that second, six on the third, and then only four on the last. And then your last one, guys, is you've got your push-up to press. I'm going to go down in my push-up, elbows stay pointed back. I'm going to row, and I'm going to press, okay? The single-sided drill, we're just going to do five per side. So a total of ten on that first round, eight on that second, six on the third, and four on the fourth. Cool? We've got about, I don't know, 15 minutes. Let's get started. 10 seconds, get your weight. Let's get ready to start that round of 10, all right? Whatever you are using, let's get it, all right? Load those weights up, toes are slightly out, knees are slightly out, 10 reps, every one of the exercises. First round starts in three, two, one, let's go. And again, load on the shoulders, two, or push together, okay? Your choice. Three, four, five, six, seven. Hips are low. Eight, last two. Nine, and one more. Perfect, 10. All right, you're gonna move right on. You got to wide to mid row. One out, one in, one rep. Back is flat, eyes are pointed straight ahead. I like to put my feet close together that when my hips aren't in the way, I'm hinging. One out, one in. One, two, good. Big squeeze of those shoulder blades. Three, four, five, out and in. Six, four more. Seven, eight, last two. Nine, one more. And ten, perfect. Fully extend. Come on up. Give yourself a little bit of a break. You've got your lunge back to bicep curl. You've got ten total, five each side. Lunge back and curl. One, use a little bit of that momentum on the way up. Two, to get that bicep curl. Three. Inhale down, exhale up, four. Five, five more. Six. Notice everything is in rhythm. Seven, last three. Eight, keep it in rhythm, guys. And nine, one more. Inhale down, and 10. That's already three out of my four. I've got one more. Push up to row and press five per side. On this one, I know in body weight, we counted each side as one, this side we're counting all, all right? A little more of a strength base, a little, a few, a few less reps here. Here we go. Push up, feet rotate, shoulders rotate, press, keep your eyes fixed on your hands, just like we did in the warm up of that hurdle stretch. Same position there. And two, eyes stay fixed, on your hand, feet rotate, and press, three, four, and five, last five, guys, six, inhale down, exhale up, seven, last three, eight, and two more, nine, and one more, ten, you would finish that first round. We got three more to go. A little bit of a break. Heart rate's coming down. Moving on to your round of eight, okay? Round of eight, start with your front squats. Coaches need water too. Here we go, guys. Round of eight in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, as those reps go down. Three, take that pace up just a little bit. Four, five, hips back. Six, seven, and eight. Excellent, you got your front, I'm sorry, your wide to mid row. Here we go, one out, one in. One, two, full extension of those arms, squeeze. Three, four, five. Inhale down, exhale up, six. Remember, always, Seven, exhale, when those muscles are doing the most work. And eight, fully extend, make sure your back's nice and flat. Take a few breaths. You've got your eight, lunge back bicep curl. Four per side, here we go. Inhale down, exhale. Four, last four. Six, two more. Seven. And eight, down to your last round of your second last eight. 
Second round, push up rotation. Press four per side. Here we go. Back to squat. Elbows pointed back. Stack the hips, stack the shoulders. Eyes stay focused on the dumbbell as you go up. Two. Three. Four. Last four, guys. Six, and you have two more. Seven, last one. And eight, excellent. Halfway in, two more rounds. We are down to our round of six, okay? Third round in, dumbbells get ready. 10 seconds, you need a quick drink of water, get it. Otherwise, let's keep it moving. Round of six, we're gonna rack those dumbbells, ride at our shoulders. This round, I kept them on my shoulder last time. I'm pushing them together right in front of my chest. A little bit tougher here. Really keeps my form in check. Just sit. Inhale down, exhale up. Two. Four, final two guys. Five, one more. Six, we are done with that third round. All right, here we go. And now you've got your, moving on into your wide to mid row. Six each way. One, two, one out, one in, three, last three, four, last two, five, one more, and six, excellent. All right, here we go, lunge back to bicep curl. One, two, breathing in and out, three, last three, four, five, Six, excellent. Let's move on. You got your push up rotation. Three per side, round of six will be down to our final round of four. And we are done. All right, let's go. Push up rotation, elbows back. Push up, stack the hips, stack the shoulders. Two. Last two. Five, and one more. Six, congratulations. You are down to your fourth and final round, and you are done. This is it. Four reps, four drills. We are done, guys. Grab your weight. Need to take a few breaths, do it. Last and final. Four reps in three, two, one. Come on. Four front squats, one, two. Three, one more. Four, excellent work. You're done with those. You don't need to do any team, any more front squats. You've got your last round, wide to mid rows. Four each way. One, squeeze the shoulders. Two, good, keep those elbows in at your body on that mid row. Three, right under your arms is where those dumbbells go. And four, you are done with your mid rows. you got your lunge back curls. Four total, come on. Knee to the floor, elbows in, palms up. One. Two, last two, three, and this is it. And four, and you are down to your last, last exercise. We got a push-up rotation, game time, that's it. Let's go. We've got four total, two per side, elbows in the body, stack the shoulders, stack the hips, let's get it. Eyes on the dumbbell, one, eyes on the prize, let's go. Two, we're two and we are done. Exhale as you press, three, inhale as you drop, and four. You guys are awesome. I hope you got as good of a workout as I did. Thank you for joining us, Heat Familia. You guys are amazing. Stay the course, fight the good fight. You guys are awesome. Join us again soon. We can't wait to see you back here. Have a great and blessed week, guys.